Mario is a very courageous and persistent lawyer uh, dedicated to fighting for the rights of the poorest and the most marginalised in Haiti. Using his skills, often on a pro bono basis, he's also played a very critical role in Haiti in ensuring government accountability. He has been uh, targeted as a human rights defender. He's taking on some very sensitive cases. Uh, he is one of the leading lawyers involved in calling uh, the former dictator to account and in just seeking to bring him to justice. The most important human rights trial in Haiti's history, the Rabateau Massacre, uh, in which uh, military and paramilitary officials were convicted uh, for uh, the, ma the massacre of Aristide supporters in a slum neighborhood um, is almost entirely due to the tenacity and the perseverance of Mario. He works in an environment where powerful elites have dominated the country for long. In Haiti, the impunity of the past is the impunity of the present. I mean, Haitians um, do not believe in the justice system. I mean, when you talk to women who are living in camps um, and who have been raped, who don't go to the police and don't go to the system, it's because the system doesn't work. Um, and Mario is trying to make the system work. And I think it's a, not a very known issue that uh, human rights defenders who fight for the economic and social and cultural rights are getting so much pressure, even in countries which might have um, democratic system. The fact that Mario has continued working despite all the threats against him and his family. He could have safely stayed in the United States where his family had received political asylum, but he preferred to continue his work in Haiti for the victims of human rights violation. The Martin Ennels Awards uh, could bring him this international recognition that certainly would help him carry out his work and also to improve his security.